uh, pronounced Margie Young, and it's spelled M-A-R-G-I-E. Y-O-U-N-G. And what's your title here? What's your position? Well, I'm retired, but I was the first uh, program director at the Dietrich Theater. Okay. And I've worked with Erica for 20 some years. Wow, that was my next question. <laughs> so tell me about Erica, someone who's never met her before. What would you have to say about her? Okay, well, those of us who brought the Dietrich Theater helped to bring the Dietrich Theater back to life in 2001. We had a dream, and we had a dream that we could be a movie theater and also a cultural center. And that was quite a lofty dream. And now we are just so very delighted and happy that Erica has taken us so far at realizing that dream, at making us a cornerstone of the town and um, uh, a true cultural center and a movie theater. And what are some of the things that Erica has done to make this fulfill that dream? Well, she has reached out to so many organizations in the community, um, everything from our uh, hands, which um, deals with uh, uh, preschool issues and services to um, the CARES organization, which deals with drug education, and um, you name it. Uh, we have, uh, we work with uh, uh, adults and kids with in intellectual disabilities and uh, many far-reaching uh, organizations in our community. I think that that's been such a wonderful thing for her to do. Do you think that all of this wouldn't be possible without Erica? Well, um, a lot of us uh, who had that dream to begin with are of a certain age, and. Um, and we're just so fortunate that she came along and embraced our same dream and wanted to uh, do what we envisioned. So I would say no, it wouldn't, unless there's another Erica somewhere. Which uh, th doesn't sound like there is. <laughs> um, and so she's nominated as one of our remarkable women in NEPA. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel knowing that someone you work so closely with is so remarkable? Well, it's so deserved, it's so deserved, because she is truly remarkable. Uh, she is able to um, bring us so many uh, cultural programs, including music and art and, and, um, and other programs, as well as she's a master organizer. She, um, she saved us from at least two emergencies. Okay, she saved us from the flood, and also she saved us at the time of COVID to keep us current and in the, uh, in the vision of people who uh, could use the internet to provide classes and movies and all kinds of things. So, um, yes, and extraordinary. <laughs> and what are some of the qualities that you really love about Erica? She is a woman of so many abilities, not only to be an organizer, but also to see the beauty of uh, the arts and cultural programs that can come and do come here to our theater in our town. And what do you think she means to the community? Not only has she reached out to so many organizations in the community, but so many organizations have reached out to us to um, help provide services for all of our constituents. Wonderful. Is there mm -hmm. anything else that you wanted to mention about Erica? Well, she's truly, she's not only a wonderful organizer, but um, the kindest, and most understanding person that I can even imagine.